this time I recognize Ranking Member Levin for an opening statement. I yield our time to Mr. Doggett. I thank the gentleman. Uh, this is entitled Reducing Duplicative and Ineffective Federal Funding. And for that title, and I hope you'll keep your polka dot picture up there so we can talk about it. Uh, for that title, I can assure you that every Democrat supports that title. It's only the contents that we object to since they have little to do with the title. Just like this polka dot picture that's up here, that treats as welfare, Pell Grants, school lunch programs, and a variety of other matters that before the Tea Party surge were viewed as bipartisan initiatives to give people a hand up, including students who want to achieve their full God-given potential. How many times has it been that Republicans have told us that in fact block grants back to the states were the solution to most of our social woes? Indeed, they've told us as recently as this very minute, because as we convene here, we know the, the only reason we're convened here is because another group of people, some running back and forth between the committees, are convening the budget committee to come up with a federal budget. And because they got a big gap in their budget, we're called on to take money away from the disadvantaged to try to fill that gap. They are urging the very kind of block grant program that the chairman just condemned as being unaccountable to resolve a number of other social ills at the same time that they condemn this program. So often they tell us that if we just get Washington out of the way and send the states the money, they know how to solve all these problems. They can use magic and change a little bit less money into a much greater success. And yet today we're told that kind of grant program that just won't work. And this block grant program that they're proposing to terminate today is not just any block grant program. It may have had some elements that go back to 1956, but in fact, this social service block grant program bears the signature and the endorsement of a fellow named Ronald Reagan. Even the term block grant that is applied to this proposal when it comes to Republicans uh, is a bit of a misnomer. It's not really a block grant that they are urging for this and for food security and for health care. It's a chopping block grant. As today's action indicates, the goal is to eliminate any federal accountability and targets and guidelines, give all the money to the states, and then when they might not have accountability, because it was never intended to have any in the first place, chop that grant, cut it out, eliminate it. Uh, plug your budget gap with funds that once served Americans and gave them a hand up. I don't think that's a block grant. I think it's just block-headed. And surely this particular block grant, the Social Services block grant, I agree with the chairman at least to this extent. It could use more accountability. And that's the reason that President Obama has proposed in his budget year after year that we commit some of this block grant to evaluation and outcome measures to try to assure that it's being used for evidence-based purposes. But in fact, Republicans have rejected that accountability effort every year, and today we find them just worshiping at the altar of the Tea Party, looking for a cut wherever it's easiest to make it with whichever group doesn't have the strongest lobby, like poor kids. Now, I respect the sincerity of those who supported the first bill before us. Tomorrow, the Commission to Eliminate Child Abuse and Neglect Fatalities will be releasing this report after two years of investigation, focusing on the need for more prevention so we don't have more kids going into foster care, so that we prevent abuse and neglect. And what are we doing with this bill? We are eliminating the source of one-third of all the funding to prevent child abuse and neglect that's been in America today and we're not providing any alternatives. So when you talk about some nebulous block grant that's unaccountable, that's on a polka dot chart, and how you're gonna eliminate it, just understand the effects are real. You can throw all the words you want to at the problem of child abuse and neglect, but this cuts out the heart of support for doing something to help these abused and neglected children. 
That's what this will do, and it will also interfere with what many states are doing on Meals on Wheels, the 15 states that rely on it for that, uh, and other needs that they've identified in the way Republicans have told us that they all, always should. I yield back.